years ago, you could call 1-800-772-1213 and they would tell you the um, distribution of the retirement survivor's disability checks. And based on the 30-day payment schedule, they would pay them every 30 days, whether or not there was 31 days in the month or not, simply because of the extra week. They did not make people suffer. I was getting my checks almost a week early, um, Wells Fargo. That was two days before, usually on the weekend. So then two days before should have been the 28th. And I haven't gotten my retirement survivor's disability check from the accident where I worked at Express Scripts as I was suing District Number 1 with Margaret O'Sullivan Kane, where Amy Jane Getz said she heard me cuss Margaret out for being racist, refusing to cash the $75 that she agreed to represent me and my child from as she bargained admin transfers. And that was when the district was now allowed to start using admin transfers, uh, which they had banned. Unfortunately, um, when they did that, your child could be out of school, not getting instruction from anywhere uh, one day to up to 45 days, which under the law, they weren't getting instruction. If your parent wasn't like me and making them account for the work that you were missing, you were now not only missing instruction, you weren't turning in work. If you were like me and my daughter, they weren't trying to count the work that you did at home because people like Jackie Baker, Elizabeth Baker, a professor and a teacher, Kim Ellison, didn't get to instruct you on how to do the work. At that time, Parent Portal was not good enough where they were now listing what the child could and couldn't do through the Parent Portal where their child was able to access it prior to the implementation of at-home learning, where I thought that again if we were being evaluated through uh, what is it the Department of Education out of Washington Kamala Harris I thought that if we were being evaluated we needed to have a base of tests where your kid was at home and then now uh, tested to see where they should have been based on George Bush saying they were left behind and they weren't getting specific education, which he might have wanted to give them either in dollars, because that makes more sense than trying to make somebody go back like my daughter. She said she didn't learn about Orson Welles. They said that they didn't read that Martin Luther King was recruited and that the uh, government at that time wanting to make a deal solicited the Islamic nation where a movie was said to have told them to get their hands out of those pockets. Nigga, nigga, nigga. When I sat in Franklin School and I thought I heard Dr. Brown where Bobby Joe Champion sat on a ledge dangling these shoes where this white girl said, look at your, you know, shoes. As again, I now watched Reverend McAfee on a video holding up his shoes and the guy on the bus said, I like your boot shoes that Brene bought. Brene Baker, right? She was the one I thought was made to get the dress out of my storage locker. Because, you know, I didn't want to wear that leather dress. I was never a size two. But through the solicitation of my mental, uh, what do you call that, stability, I was communicating through this walkie-talkie type of situation, and they said, tell all your secrets to your walkie-talkie. So I told them that the worst time in my life was when I got put out of uh, Sheridan, and I had to go live with my mother, then I had to go live with my sister, Terry, and then I lived with my father, where me and my father had this argument because I came home from work early one day, and he was butt naked in the house, and I had my kids with me, and he caught me off guard. I didn't know if that was um, supposed to just be me, because I had normally came home early on 42nd and DuPont, right? Um, when I lived there, 
I, I came there first before I went and got the kids. And that day I went and got my kids first and then went. I thought that my dad was having DDTs, alcohol problems, because he was supposed to be stopping drinking. And I thought he was now drinking and viewing me as my mother. And as he was thinking I was my mother, he was now confusing Michael Cooper Sr. with a man that he was in competition with. Because he was very hell-bent on me at that time, not fucking Michael leaving Michael alone, not trying to help us work it out, not trying to guide him and help him be a better man, a better husband, a better father. He wasn't doing none of that. And I didn't doubt my father. I just thought he was having DDTs. Do you know what that is? Under alcoholism, when you have cirrhosis of the liver and your body's dependent on alcohol and it's not like a Narcan shot where the government is giving it to us to give to them. They have to go in the hospital. They have to be strapped in a bed, like my Uncle Lindell was, you know, because he was hallucinating. And as he was hallucinating, they said Uncle Lindell tripped, got up out the bed because somebody left the bed untied. Uh, Amy Klobuchar, you're a nurse, right? Barb Johnson is a nurse, right? Do they know Linda Baker, Mary Johnson, Roy, huh, Ann Long? I'm asking. You know, it's only a fair question to find out if Mary Johnson Roy, Otis Mays, knew Amy Klobuchar at that time, if Amy Klobuchar was around when Paul Wellstone died, because it would seem fair that, you know, because the rumor in my family was that somebody went and prayed over him and left his straps untied and he wandered out of this locked ward in the middle of this uh, rehab in the middle of nowhere. Like, you know, where you sit me and more in the middle of nowhere where her and my son was in the middle of no fucking where, huh? When I went out there and I seen where Mia and Michael was staying, huh, Sheriff Madison, I couldn't figure that shit out for the life of me, how they wanted a black girl out there wanting to get off welfare, you know, not live on welfare. When there was no place for her to get a job, there was no place for her to, you know, have daycare. There was no, you know, safe place for her to walk around, cross the street with her child. They didn't give a fuck up there. Ice Cube, O'Shea, ain't that your name? Oh, motherfucking Shea Jackson. Huh? Was that cool for me or more? By Grand Casino. Huh? You son of a bitch.